Dom, go come and see this. Come here. Look at that. Wow. It's nice, isn't it? That looks beautiful. This antique sewing machine is a cherished heirloom to Kathleen Lewis from Cheshire, and she's hoping metalwork expert Dominic Chenier can get it up and running again. Hello. Hello. How are you too? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Now, this is a beautiful... We've just been admiring this. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I want to take the box off, though. Can I have a look? You certainly <laughs> can. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm dying to do this. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Ooh. How have you got this? Um, it belonged to my nan. Okay. She was born in 1893, and she started to work for the dressmaker's shop, and this was the machine she used in the shop. And then when she reached 21, they gave it to her. Wow. Well, she, she must have been good. Was she really good? She was absolutely fantastic, yes. Sadly, I didn't know her. She died before I was born, but oh. I know she also made my mum's wedding dress on this. That's brilliant. I know she passed before... Um, you could meet her, but do you know anything about her? She got married in 1914, in May. OK. And by October, she was widowed. He was killed in France. And she never <sighs> married again. But she always managed to keep her and my mum going. And yeah, yeah. She must have worked really hard. This was important. It, it was my nan's life, really. Mm. So after my nan died, my mum had it. And it always sat in our front room. I wasn't supposed to, but I used to go in and play with it a lot and fiddle about with it. OK. And then eventually I went into the sewing trade, making uh, very posh suits and overcoats. Oh, have cool. you? Yeah. Have you ever used it no. properly or...? So you've, you've never made anything never on it? Never been able to, no. Never been able to? Wow. When was the last time this was used, then? To be honest, I couldn't tell you. Mm. Whether it would actually sew again, I don't know. And, uh, and I just want to be able to use it. So when you look at the sewing machine now, what kind of memories does it conjure up? I mean, it's, like I say, it's my childhood in the front room. Yeah. And my mum, she's not with me anymore. Mm. Oh, sorry to hear that. It's just... Yeah. Good memories, yeah? Yeah. I think my mum would have been pleased to see it go, being used again. Yeah. yeah. So how would you like it to look? Just want the, the woodwork so that it's, it's not falling to pieces anymore. OK. But, I mean, where, where it's worn, it's obviously where my nan's been using it. That's, yeah. that's her, that's part of it. Yeah. So, just to be able to use it. Well, I can't wait to get the team started on this one. Kathleen, thank you for bringing us in. Thank you very much. Lovely to yeah. meet you. Thank you. you thank you. And you. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. It's proper, isn't it? It is a proper sewing machine. Yeah. This sewing machine is the only thing I've got that belonged to my nan. To be able to have it looking like it used to do, it will bring my nan into my house and my mum will be back there as well. It's, the, it's all I've got left.